<laughs> but now we want to hey. talk about what's happening here locally, right? Bring it back. Bring it <laughs> back. Bring it back mm -hmm. to South Florida. But I do love the perspective because it makes us feel lucky that we're here, even despite the breeze, because hey, we can handle a little wind, right? We're dealing with some passing showers. Oh, he's really good. I was like, oh, well, there you go. Small craft advisory for the Florida Straits because of the windy conditions, dangerous, high risk of rip currents. We're going to be warmer tomorrow. Some showers this weekend. But yeah, that's our big weather story. The wind, which has been just cranking the past few days. And also the fact that it's a little warmer today and highs will be in the low 80s as we head into the afternoon and evening. We're seeing the upper 70s and looking at real time radar. We're seeing some showers that are moving in across parts of Broward County. They are quick showers. They're light, so they're going to be in and out of your neighborhood before you know it. So yeah, the Cove right now, College Park, we're dealing with some showers there. Uh, we just had the rain in West Deerfield Beach. Now Collier Park, Coconut Creek, dealing with some of those showers as well as here just north of North Lauderdale near Southgate Boulevard, a shower as well in Coral Springs. And the breeze is shifting more out of the southeast. So that is a little a bit of a change too out of the southeast 18 to 21 miles an hour. Gusts as high as 23, 26. But keep in mind, yesterday we had gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. So it was really, really blustery. It's still windy out there though. And we are going to continue to deal with that dangerous high risk of rip currents. You see those red flags flapping around at the beach. Yeah, it's not safe to go swimming yet. Just enjoy that sunshine and the breeze while you can. Small craft caution for boaters from Miami-Dade and Broward County waters. Choppy on the base Florida Keys. As I mentioned along the streets, we do have a small craft advisory, but elsewhere the winds are starting to lighten up. The sea is still about four to seven, a moderate chop on the base. Future radar is showing on and off again throughout the day. We are seeing the chance for a couple of showers, but notice how Friday tomorrow. Oh, for the evening commute, stay tuned to Chief Meteor to Meteorologist Dave Warren as we are going to see the showers blowing in in the evening hours. So of course, we'll be all over it and tracking it all. But overall, the rain chances and high, but temperatures will be close to the mid 80s going into Saturday, waking up to the upper 60s, highs in the low 80s, a little cooler Sunday with I have 80 degrees Monday for President's Day, waking up with 68 in the high 78. And don't forget to download the free CBS News app to check out our in-depth forecast with an even closer look at the long holiday weekend and President's Day ahead.